TNTM The Show presents Talking Nerdy. With your hosts, Pablo Gunner, the Ambassador, and Marvin Goof, yo. And we're here to talk nerdy to you, as we have been for the last 13 years talking about comics, video games, movies, shows, all the nerd stuff, because we want to save you the time. We don't want you to waste your time. We want you to put your time into the best of the best. So we're willing to waste our time so you don't have to. So we're going to be covering Fallout. So let's cover the big one because it's the most important one and it is probably the best one, Fallout. Yes. Yeah. I would agree entirely. <laughs> oh my god. Wow. So I don't know about you guys, but I played Fallout 3. I absolutely fell in love with it. I haven't 100%ed it. I tried, but there's a lot in that game. It's hard. I'm now tempted to go back and 100% it because of this show. Instead, what I did, because I've heard bad things about Fallout 76, I know there's they've made improvements, but I'm still like, ah, I'm not a big multiplayer guy, so I'm, I'm not about it. And so I did try Fallout 4 after watching this on Game Pass, because I had Game Pass. Yeah, so that's my experience. And I did play some Fallout Shelter, which is just the hmm. online mobile game. Oh, wow. Like, okay, when they yeah. released it way back uh, you when. You can get that on Switch, too. Oh, nice. Yeah, so for free? Yeah. Oh, nice. Cool. So, but yeah, uh, that's my experience with Fallout. What about you guys? Um, I tried to play 3. wasn't my jam. And... I haven't gotten to 4 yet, I'm gonna try that one out since it's on Game Pass. And they also just added the next gen update, so it would be cool to see how sharp it looks compared to when it first came out. Mm -hmm. For me it's been basically word of mouth actually. I've never played a Fallout game. Although I own the tabletop RPG book, oh, so nice. I, you know, I don't mind doing that. Uh, so I know a lot of it because of that book. So I, you know, not. I guess I'm almost a fresh person. Almost, I'm probably the closest to that. If you keep them under your thumb, they'll never end up in the gutter. Too bad, Pete. Almost. Almost. <laughs> Watch this. PJ! Here, sir. Coming, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah, thank you, thank you. Yeah. Well, it feels like it. it well, if you play it, it does. It, it's an RPG, so that's perfect for a tabletop RPG, right? Like it's perfect mm -hmm. for it. So, so I feel like yeah, you, you're pretty in it, especially if you played it. But at least if you've read it, so you know something. Yeah. So for me, going into it like immediately and, and just as it continued on. I was like, oh my god, this is just like the games. And it made me want to get back into the games, which is why I played Fallout 4 afterwards. Love the story. It, it, so much of it just plays out exactly like the games. Was, it's just random. You come out of the vault, and you are, you're a fresh person. You don't know what it's like, especially the first time you play it, right? You have no clue, and you learn. It's a harsh world out there. It's crazy. <laughs> it's messed up. It's wild. It's a wasteland, and it's absolutely nuts. And then, like, even that, that one line where he's like, uh, thou must get sidetracked by stupid BS, you exactly. know? Exactly. Quagmire? Hey, you are. Nobody's seen you in days. Hey, Peter. I've just been, uh, checking out some of that internet porn. You okay? Yeah, yeah, I'm good, I'm good, I'm good. I'm just gonna go, go and check my mail over there. You been lifting weights? Uh, no. And I was like, oh, oh my wow. god, yes. <laughs> like, that captures that game so well, but, like, the side quests are so great. <laughs> and and even that whole thing, like you, it's you are you do have three characters. There's the one main character, uh, the lady that is in the Fallout shelter. You have the one guy that's in the Brotherhood of Steel, which is from Fallout Three. And then there's a lot of references to uh, Fallout New Vegas. Yes, and one of the factions Ooh. in New Vegas is in the game. The uh, the New California Republic. And I do believe the Brotherhood of Steel has a little bit in New Vegas, too. I think they're one of the factions trying to control the city. Well, what I remember in New Vegas is that, like, there's these Romans, and then there's the new 
California Republic, mm -hmm. and they're, I don't know, they both seem really messed up to me, so, like, when you're choosing which alliance, you're kind of like, they're both pretty awful. Whereas, like, in 3, it seemed pretty fairly clear that, like, the Brotherhood of Steel were the good guys, but then watching this show, you're like, yeah, maybe not. Maybe they're not. They're good guys. Yeah. It's just everyone's messed up. It's just varying degrees in which one you want to ally with. I think that's one of the things I took away from this the most is just how everyone on the surface is messed up in some form or fashion. No one is purely good in this, and I think that is that does make it a little interesting. And, and also shows how messed up vault is as well. Oh, dear oh, gracious vault -Tec. Oh, wow. Wow. <laughs> yeah, that... Oh, wow. It spe and, and that speaks volumes to, like, what we have going on now, where it almost feels like an oligarchy in America, where you just have the rich ruling over the masses, you know, controlling our politicians. And, and you could imagine something like this because, because of the way that it is now, right? Like, it's nuts. You're like, wow, maybe I should... Do something. I don't know what to do. Should I run for office? Should I build a suit of armor? Uh, <laughs> yeah. So you're like, um... Uh, do I build a suit build of armor? My own Move vault? to Japan. Uh, yeah, right? I mean, they, they did have a... Gundam that could move a little bit. Yes, that was epic. That. They finally retired it. But anyways, <laughs> oh. yeah, I was like, man, I really wish I could have gone before it was retired, but still, mm. even seeing videos was pretty epic. <laughs> anyways, <laughs> this show was epic, and there was so much, even like the visuals, I was like, oh, it's going to be look cheesy. Even like that gulper, like, yeah, there it wasn't like the best CGI I've ever seen, but as far as shows go, it was still pretty top-notch. What I also adored, because... I mean, I never played the Fallout games, but I think everybody knows what the suit of power armor from Fallout looks like. And seeing real people in power armor, yes. Oh, <laughs> like, yeah. That was, I loved a bit the fact that they made that choice. And, you know, it, it definitely gave it depth to me. It made it feel real when you actually have someone in a suit. Oh, for sure, for sure. But yeah, like I said, getting back to the characters... You, you, like I said, you have that, you have the girl that's from the Fallout shelter from the vault, and then you have um, the ghoul, Walton yeah. Goggins, and he's kind of like a sheriff character, but, and then you have uh, the Brotherhood of Steel guy, and it's, like, you're, it was weird because, like, you're rooting for him, but he's kind of a dirtbag, but he's kind of good, but... And that's the thing, is you go, like, they're all varying degrees of bad, but when you look at everyone else they're dealing with, like, they're kind of the best of the bad. Like, especially her, like, she's naive, she's new, like, so she's she's most, the most pure person. You mm -hmm. definitely want her to reach her goal the most. And so that was a, so it was a great conclusion for her. And it was crazy, too, because even, even with that guy in the Brotherhood of Steel, how you see how certain people get pushed to power bec just because of the way that things work. Like, people elevate them. Like, we've seen that in our own politics. And it's crazy. And then, and even Walton Goggs, you're like, I want to see his story complete. Like, I want, I have to see at least a second season to see his story come full circle. And also, how is how are their stories going to affect his, too? Mm -hmm. Because that the ending of that's going to affect his in a huge way. It's just all kinds of crazy and all kinds of awesome and I absolutely loved it so much as as a hardcore... I, I mean, I'm not the most hardcore Fallout fan, but I do feel like I am. I, I do love it. I've played the games. And yeah, I have... I never finished Fallout New Vegas, but I, I, I had a good time playing that one. But yeah, so... And like I have the shirt. Yeah, I, I love it. I love the show. I wa I can't wait to see more. They've, it's already gotten greenlit for a second season, season right? Yeah. It's coming, It's yes. already been greenlit because they had such high viewership on the first one. So, and it's crazy because they put it all out in one thing, and it was such a great binger. I did not think I would be able to watch all this, especially because my wife's like, I can't believe you watch it without me. And I'm like, it's for the people. I have to do it for the people. I'm bigger than you. I'm higher in the food chain. Get in my belly. Come on. It was so good, and it was such a great binger. Oh, phenomenal. I, I, it's a must stream. 
It's a must see. That's our highest grade. Medium's like, check it out, you know, and then pass, of course, that's the worst. So, what do you guys give it? I give it a must see. Absolutely must see. What are you doing? Go watch it after this. <laughs> absolutely, absolutely. And play the games too, because mm -hmm. if you have Amazon Prime video, I think if you if you have a membership, I'm pretty sure you can get Fallout 3 for free through Xbox or or through Microsoft. No, no, it's not through Microsoft. It's mm -hmm. through their own gaming platform. Oh, is it? Yeah, they have the they have their own gaming platform where uh, you can like connect a controller to like a Bluetooth controller to a Fire TV or a Fire Stick. So PC. And you can, it's its own thing. Mm. It's its own platform. Okay. Yeah, and you can play it, uh, you can play it through there. And Fallout 76, I know that was on there as well. I, I don't think, you think have Fallout to 4 was on there. I think you have to subscribe to his different channel for that one. Okay. Because Luna, there's the games they give you that are for like the month. For, that come with a Prime subscription, and then they have different channels where you can pay monthly fees to get those type of games from those channels. Mm. But I did it the cheap way because I'm cheap, which is I just got Bing points through Microsoft, and then I bought a membership to Game Pass with those points. And so, because they have Fallout, they have I think they have all those games on there. For Game Pass, but I was like, Fallout 4 is the newest one. I, I had a good time playing Fallout 4 for the short time that I did, but it was a lot. I feel like I need to watch like maybe like some tips and tricks or walk through just mm -hmm. to understand where I need to go next or, or what to do because they had a lot of like new building stuff. But anyway, I go to the gas sure. station. Yeah, I was at the gas station. Yeah. Um, I mean, the, so, yeah. the scene in the show is from Fallout 4 because uh, uh, you go to the gas station to get your dog in Fallout 4. Nice. Yeah, cool yeah, I did with the dog, so yeah, wow. great. And the dog is like the most useful ally <laughs> in that game, because uh, when like the ghouls, the feral ghouls attack you, the dog will hold them down so you can shoot them. Mm. Nice. Yes, sir. So I may have talked to someone who was giving me good strategy. Nice, dude. <laughs> nice. See, that's what, talk nerdy to me. That's why. That's why we exist. So we have our merch that we're sporting. Uh, I have the Fallout stuff which might be going away off the site after this month because we're going to be reducing our site to only 100 products. So this is probably going to be going away because this is merch of the month. After that, it's, it might be going away completely. I mean, if you still want it, we'll, we'll find a way to get it to you. We can make that happen, but it's not going to be on sale because this is the only time that it's going to be on sale with free shipping. By Grabthar's Hammer. What a saving. Uh, which is the, it's the vats, and then it says, so you're telling me there's a chance, like from Dumb and Dumber, <laughs> from that meme. Uh, so I love it. And there's all kinds of shirts. This is the tank top, and this is a small, which works for me. And then I also have the X-Men hoodie, uh, which I love, and, and it's so great. It's not too heavy. Um, this is a medium, and uh, it, fits, it fits pretty good. Um, and then of course I have the I have these Ninja Turtle shorts and then I got my um, my Mortal Kombat socks which I don't even know if we're gonna we're probably gonna get rid of a lot a lot of stuff like I said we have to reduce our store a lot so it's it's a lot of this stuff is going away but if you want it hit us up for it and well I'll, I'll even hook people up with codes if they if they want just discount just codes. message us but yeah just message let us let us know and we can we can find a way to make it available for you to purchase it yeah it's yeah. not a problem at all. I'm rocking my uh, Talk Nerdy to Me Ninja Turtles shirt. Probably one of our best shirts we have here. Live, laugh, love. Yeah. <laughs> That's just awesome. <laughs> <laughs> and yes, that is Star Trek font right there. And I adore it. It makes me happy. Yes, so, and we have other ones. <laughs> I have, there's another one that says Live Long and Prosper. There's also another one that has the uh, Spock quote that he says to... Uh, to Kirk when he's dying um, so uh, yeah but I almost felt like maybe we should have gotten him the the shirt or be like you know what you guys switch shirts you know like because he, he, this guy's spitting the but this is the ambassador that's why he, he has the nerd knowledge that's why we call him the ambassador my so, parents are Trekkies he's so he knows this stuff so <laughs> that's, yeah that's how I know my parents are Trekkies so you just have to know that kind of stuff 
growing up in a Trekkie household. Mm. So, but yeah, uh, and once again, you know, we're going to do the shout-outs. Shout-outs always to Atticus as our number one shout-out. And then uh, we have Amerame Media, as well as others. M M uh, MK Jekyll and Hyde makes uh, comics. They're phenomenal. I love their inspirational posts. And, uh, yeah, we have, uh, we have, don't we have another one that... Oh, yeah. Uh, we're still working on getting a collaboration with them. But the Horror Fiend. I was talking to one of the main guys that runs it. And, uh, yeah, they, they're, they do mostly, like, horror movie type of stuff. And then they're gonna do a nerdy, nerdy, uh, channel as well. So it's great to see them joining that, uh... Uh, one of one of the guys that's heading it, he, he used to work at a comic book shop, so I think uh, he's going to have a really good perspective on nerdy things. Oh Excellent. yeah, yeah. I I, remember, I see. I feel like I see him at all the cons too, or I usually see him at the cons. So. Well, for New Mexico Comic Expo, he was head of security. For oh okay, like, there you go. That's that's why. There we go, wow. <laughs> so all right, cool. I did fail to mention too that five percent of our profit goes to a charity of the month. We have a different charity of the month for the month, every single month. Uh, for Abril, it is Autism Speaks, and then for Mayo, it's going to be National. Uh, it's the the it's Nami is what it is, but it's it's mental because it's Mental Health Awareness Month. Mm -hmm. It's related to that, so that's what we're gonna be. Uh, donating to for next month. So, uh, I believe that's it for us, right? Yeah, that is. Alright, cool. So, talk nerdy to me. Stay nerdy, planet Earth. Keep it real. Keep it nerdy, man. <laughs>